Today's video is sponsored by the mobile game Raid Shadow Legends. Use our links below to download Raid yourself to your mobile phone or PC. In today's video, we're going to see if we can keep food preserved longer by using different types of gases. We've done a couple of videos in the past about preserving foods. Uh, we had one I thought was a lot of fun where we just put a bunch of different food in vacuumed jars to see how well they stayed good in a vacuum. I wasn't even on the channel yet in that video. It was a while ago, yeah. yeah. Today we're doing something s related. Mm -hmm. I wanted to see how different gases work at preserving different foods. Here's the basic idea. We've got potato chips, some white bread, and some hamburger. We're going to see if storing them in different types of gas will help them stay preserved longer or make them go bad faster. Potato chips actually come with nitrogen in the bag because it helps keep the chips from going stale. I want to try and test if that does work. Can we put chips in a bag with nitrogen and have them stay good longer than chips in a bag with, say, oxygen or helium or carbon dioxide or sulfur hexafluoride or what was the other one? Argon. Uh, so yeah, we've got lots of them, and so we've got chips, white bread, and hamburger, and I want to put all of them in some bags, and we're just going to see if it makes a difference. After a week, we're going to just let them sit. The hamburger will all be in the refrigerator, uh, but we're just going to let everything... But still, meat and white bread notoriously go bad in your kitchen, so... Yeah. Now, nitrogen is going to float away pretty well, mixing with the air, but we can... Hold it on its side, maybe? Well, I'll just open it, and then just stick the match down inside, okay. see if it stays lit or goes out. Oh, that went out right wow. away. Wow, yep. Right away. So Didn't even think about it. Supporting the idea that uh, this is not oxygen, not normal air, because that match went out pretty much instantly. Mm -hmm. uh, very cool to see. Okay, okay, so we're gonna have normal air, carbon dioxide, which I'm going to make with vinegar and uh, baking soda. We're going to have nitrogen, which I'm just gonna pour some liquid nitrogen into this and then put a balloon on it to capture all of it. We've got helium, just in a helium balloon tank. We have sulfur hexafluoride, and we have argon. It's gonna take a couple of weeks for our food to be ready in those bags, so in the meantime, we gotta talk to you about today's sponsor, to the ad space. I made it to ad space. Today's sponsor is Raid Shadow Legends. Have you taken down the Demon Lord yet? Crushed the Ice Golem? Ascended the Doom Tower? What about fighting against millions of real players in the arena? Guys, it's time to raid. The epic dungeon runs, the campaign battles, and the PvP arena matches are waiting for you right now. Seriously, the PvP arena is one of the best features. Being able to go head-to-head -head with other players, throwing down in an epic arena battle gives you the chance to show off your champions, strength, and upgrades. Now, if you haven't gotten into Raid Shadow Legends yet, today is a fantastic time to start playing. Raid has just passed their two-year anniversary, and the game is bigger and better than ever before. They just had over a month of awesome events and tournaments, and there's no sign of them slowing down. This month, they're releasing a new batch of epic and legendary champions, and they're also releasing their second version of the Doom Tower. That means new rewards, new gear to win, and two brutal bosses to take on, the Celestial Griffin and the Eternal Dragon. Isn't that right, Saito? Hey, you look like you could do with an upgrade. That's better. Now we want to give you guys a huge head start in Raid. All you have to do is hit the link in the description or scan the QR code and you'll get your free epic champion, Jotun. 100,000 silver, 50 gems, and 3 ancient shards. This is only for new players who get started in the next 30 days, and new players can find their rewards here. So go get Raid now. It's been a while since we started this project. The last thing we showed was opening everything out and testing some of the bread after one week and deciding it needed longer than that. Mm -hmm. We left it longer, but then we ran into some delays and we ended up having to restart the experiment. So I've redone everything with the same gases in plastic bags and this time we've left it all for two weeks. So now we're gonna look at what happens after two weeks in the different gases for our breads, chip, breads chips, and hamburger. Looking at, say, this one with oxygen in it, like that looks pretty pink in there still. Whereas this that had carbon dioxide in it, those are noticeably different colors of meat right there. Potato chips uh -huh. and bread. Well, they don't look physically changed. I'm not seeing any signs of mold on our bread yet. I do think it's interesting to see how much gas is in each bag. Mm -hmm. Now, there may be imperfect seals or the bags themselves may not 
you know, be made perfectly. So I'm saying it could be manufacturing error or user error, but everything had about the same amount of air going in and none of them seemed to leak air when you press on them. Uh, but the sulfur hexafluoride and the nitrogen, quite full. Mm -hmm. Down to like helium, which is helium really empty. CO2 is so empty, really empty in most of them, which I think the helium actually just leaks out through the plastic. Um, it's a very small molecule. <laughs> Here's as a control. This is just regular air. There's condensation, and then it got wet right there because it's like it's doughy. Okay. And gross. I see no dough or no mold. It goes anywhere. all the way through, but yeah, they're just like yeah. This I think doughy it got spot. wet. Okay. I'm still gonna take a bite out of this one. It tastes like bread. Okay. Pretty normal texture, pretty normal flavor. Argon bread. Oh, which definitely got some condensation. There's like oh, some my. soaking. Ew. But Ew. the parts that aren't soaking wet are stale. Very dry, like crunchy. Almost, almost you can snap this bread. It is stale, dry, hard. So I, uh, my guess is that the argon pulled moisture out of the bread mm -hmm. and because there's then so much moisture in it, it, came it back and condensed it. so much that, yeah, we've got just gooey, like liquid covered bread. Uh, I'm done holding that. I'm done touching that. Oh, no, he did it. Ah, uh, so tough and chewy too. <laughs> Sulfur hexafluoride. I don't think it worked. Oh, barely. This is weird. You Durable, can see hard bread. Spots of just wetness and then spots of the crunch. Nitrogen. Okay. That feels about like it did when I took it out of the original packaging and soft, fluffy bread. Put it in the bag. Smells lovely. I actually do think that is softer than the air one. Just barely. Very, very slight very change, barely. but it doesn't have like the very, very slight, like, mm, did the outside of this dry out too much? <laughs> Helium yeah. bread. I mean, this feels a little more durable. Oh, that's actually very soft. That is. There's, okay, there is some of that doughiness along the edge of mine. See if the helium made it float. No. Just bread. I wouldn't yep. notice. If you just gave me that to me, I wouldn't notice anything was weird. CO2. Don't store your bread is it in. Fizzy? CO2. No. Oh, sorry. But yeah, it really is like extra soft. Okay. Maybe in a way that people would find unpleasant because it's almost like a consistency of like, did it cook enough? Your bread should be moist, not damp. Pure oxygen. A little dried out, not terrible. Smells like bread. Feels like just barely dried out bread. Yeah. Not bad. Like you like, left it on, you forgot your sandwich on the counter for a couple hours. Yeah. Seems sure. pretty crispy to me. Yep. Nitrogen, what in theory is the gold standard and is what chip bags are filled with when shipped. and they hold the nitrogen in the bag very well. That's a chip. It's crispy. Argon, now on the bread, we had some stay, well we had dampness. It was mm -hmm. wet with the argon. I don't see a lot of condensation it's because I, I think the, the moisture came out of the bread and then got condensed in certain spots. If no one told me anything was different about these, I don't think I would notice. I think I'd just eat them. <laughs> Regular air. So in theory, But I a limited assume... quantity of it. It's yes. not just open. Regular air, but in a sealed bag. A maybe, maybe, yeah, like with the mm -hmm. those ones over there, it's, it's a little stale. You'd still eat them. You'd be like, oh, it's just left the bag open too long. But I do think it's not as crunchy as, say, the nitrogen or even the argon. It's true. Is it working? Oh, it's working. <laughs> okay, now we know it was definitely still SF6 in the bag. Okay. All right, let's try a chip. For me, the chips are all borderline the same. The bread was a drastic yeah, difference. Yeah, for the most part, the chips are just, they're chips, and then you'd have a little bump up or a little bump down, but it was very minor to a degree that if no one pointed it out to you, you wouldn't think to ask. Blind taste test, you'd just be confused. Apparently, pure oxygen will make hamburger meat look excellent for a longer time. Mm -hmm. Just smells like hamburger. I would okay. say nothing problematic or offensive. I mean, it smells like raw hamburger. Yeah, it but smells like raw meat. Argon. 
There's more water and oh, even yeah, some in ice puddle. in the argon. So argon pulled moisture out of the bread, mm -hmm. which then condensed a lot. And I'm wondering if the same thing happened here. I bet it did. I'm getting no smell at all off of this one. Nope, it just smells like plastic bag. It doesn't smell even like hamburger meat, it's just there. I don't know that this is just from the gas. Some of them did have different temperatures around them, but we give like none of that on our oxygen burger. And this one, it's pale here, and then around the edges, just a darker brown in and parts of And the bottom is even paler. Sulfur hexafluoride. This one, also with the bread, pulled a lot of moisture out. And it looks like you can see that color change We on definitely well. have that darker color change. This one has a little bit more meat smell than that one, but less than the oxygen one. Helium, now from the outside, this one is looking much Gray. grayer, yeah. Uh, smells about like the oxygen to me. Okay. Look at huh. Side by side, definitely redder on the oxygen one. Not a big deal. I wouldn't be worried about putting this on a grill or anything. Mm -hmm. CO2. Maybe a little bit stronger of a smell, okay. but not like a bad smell. It doesn't smell rotten or anything. It's just, oh, I think I can smell it a little bit more. The color though on this one is through the bag. We both commented like, look at the difference there. It looks dead. I mean, it is dead. But it looks deader. It looks old. All right, so nitrogen, which works so well with bread and chips. Same as the oxygen, I guess. It's just there. Yeah, just raw meat. It's fine. I'm pleasantly surprised that none of these smell like bad, but we have Thank had them goodness. in the fridge. Yes. It's not as red as the oxygen. It's not as gray as the CO2. We've got kind of a gradient from reddest to grayest. Well, that one's the same color all the way through. It really is. It's like perfect. Side, middle, same lovely pinkish color. Texture seems the same. Again, all the way through that color. I'm betting the sulfur hexafluoride and the other one are gonna be different on the inside. Regular air, pretty much the same all the way through. I think a little, little bit different Gray in the right very there. middle, but not really much to consider. Now you may notice we are not eating the meat. It's because we don't have a good way of knowing what here is safe. It has um, been two weeks if we, it's been in the fridge. If we cooked it enough, it'd probably be fine. But after two weeks, we just don't want to take the risk because it has just been raw meat sitting longer than it should. Um, and so while it's probably healthy, or safe at least, as, as long as we cook it all the way. We don't want to take the risk, so we're just looking at the color and the texture of it. Most of them don't need much change. Mm -hmm. The regular air works well. Yep. I do think the nitrogen worked a little bit better, but that requires having nitrogen easily available to flood things with. Guys, is there anything else you'd like to see us test using different types of gases? Or the same foods with gases we didn't use here? Let us know down in the comments. Thanks again to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. Go download the game using our link in the description. Guys, that is it for today, but we've always got new great stuff coming out. Hit that box right there to see another one of these cool videos, and we will see you in the next one. Talk to you then.